Do your homework. Make a card. Ow. Ow. Eat your food. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of you have heard about this fad, bulletproof coffee. As though it's good for you to drink two tablespoons of butter first thing in the morning. I've never heard of this. It's, it's all over the place. Well, I'm taking it one step further. I don't follow trends. I set trends. And I'm presenting to you atomic coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. For this, you will need. Nice knowing you. Where's where's the, an Italian espresso maker, some coffee grain somewhere in here, and a little bit of creativity. Okay, let's see how this goes. Boom. <laughs> Who wants to hold the GoPro? Me. No, hold it. You gotta come here. <laughs> come here. Yeah, yeah, like this. Okay. But now you gotta hold it steady. Come close. Come closer here. Okay, well, hold it steady. Good, like that. Hold it steady. No, no, no. Focus here. Coffee grain. In the coffee machine. Grind it up. How you doing? Good. We've got the... No, you're part... Give me this cap. Give me the cap. Thank you very much. You were dismissed. Now here's the crazy part. Ordinarily, you're supposed to put water in this. We're gonna put Red Bull in it. No idea what's gonna happen. Now, what happens is you put this on the stove and when it's water, it just boils it and turns it into steam, blows it through the coffee, up through the coffee maker and into the coffee machine. Okay, here we go. So here's my thinking. It's not gonna be carbonated after it gets boiled and turned to steam and pushed through. The sugar in the Red Bull is gonna eliminate the sugar I would otherwise put in my coffee. The things that can go wrong, trying to boil water with sugar in it might crystallize, block the little valve that goes up and through, and this whole thing explodes into a thousand pieces. That's not gonna happen. What do you say, is this gonna be a success? Oh. Oh. Okay. We would see some leakage there if there were a problem. Oh, I hear it. Uh, and now we see some leakage. Oh, okay, some stuff is coming out. Okay, with this... <laughs> what? Well, some stuff is coming out. You're gonna kill yourself! Uh, oh, this is so cool. Back up, back up, back up, back up. This is so cool. You can see the sugar burning as it lands on the stove. This is so cool! We're gonna have to clean this machine out afterwards. Okay, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. Someone's gonna have to clean up the stove afterwards. You are! You okay, are. we're good here. Done! You you Boom! Are. What do you have to say about that? <laughs> Alright! Atomic coffee. I didn't mean to scream so loud. Marion? Where are you? Coffee. I'm gonna put cream in to see if that makes it a little softer. It's very hot. So much wrong with that. Oh no, I had one sip. I feel like I'm already going through the roof. No, but it's, it's the coffee. I think you put too much coffee too. It's like so strong. Candy mixed with coffee. <sighs> oh. oh, okay. I'm gonna put some cream and see if that'll soften up the bitterness. Because it's true, it is a little bitter. Oh no! <laughs> the 
look what happened to the cream. The cream just curdled. Yeah. Atomic coffee in no good. Why would it curdle like that? Okay. I'm gonna try uh, bulletproof coffee. We have coconut oil. Oh, do we have coconut oil? We need that for the for the coffee. Yeah. So I was gonna make an actual bulletproof coffee, but one one tablespoon of coconut oil has 14 grams of fat and 120 calories, so I'm just gonna have a regular cup of coffee. Apparently, you're supposed to let it sit for four minutes for best results. Timer, four minutes. Okay, four minutes and counting. Cheers.